Okay, I'm making this video to prove the functionality or non-functionality of this MKH-435T microphone just purchased off of eBay. Now, right now, we're sending audio into this 48-volt powered microphone into a Focusrite preamp that's being recorded onto the computer. So this is a 48-volt phantom input. Now, if we want to use a T-powered microphone like the 435, we'll have to use a converter, a T-powered converter. So I'm going to unplug this and I'm going to plug in one of my many T-powered microphones that do work. Okay, so now we're recording into this Sennheiser MKH-405 T-powered microphone. And we'll try another one. This is a, a Shep CMC4. These mics were created in the 70s for use with uh, T-Power. Here's a third one. And they work fine. And now we're going to try the MKH-435, which actually does work, but the T-Power has to be reversed. So when I plug it into regular T-Power, as you can see, that didn't work. But if I use a little fixture here, which reverses the polarity of pins 2 and 3, we can make the 435 work. And I'll demonstrate that now. Okay, so now the 435 works right there with pins 2 and 3 reversed. And what I'm not willing to do is take this microphone apart and wire it out of phase for uh, to work with normal T-Power supplies and unwilling to have a special T-Power supply just for this microphone. So when I go back to... Um, another microphone that works normally, I'll describe the dent in the mic. Okay, so now we're back with uh, a normal working microphone, normal T-powered working mic. Now this dent on this mic is kind of difficult to see, but I asked about it in the auction, and he said that there were no dents, but it's alongside the grill, and if you compare the grills sequentially, you'll see that this side is dented in. It's hard to see, I know, but when dealing with uh, vintage microphones, I wanted it to be cosmetically acceptable. It was described as such, and it's not. If you put a ruler up here to these various side vents, you'll see that one's straight, that one is straight, that one is straight, but this one is not. You can see the gap. There it is. You can see the bend there where this one is straight. There's no gap. Going back to this one, there's definitely a bend in the tines. You can see it. So that's what we're talking about. So this video hopefully proves that the mic is working as I received it when you reverse the phase, which is not what I need. I need a standard T-Power microphone. And uh, that it's cosmetically okay except that it arrived for that dent and that dent is visible in the sales photo of the auction 
um, and I asked about it, and he said there were no dents. So that concludes this video.